Lurella Kubai has just been a force in a season where the ACC has a lot of depth at the center position. And we are underway. Georgia Tech in their home whites. Miami wearing the orange on this afternoon. And when you look at their roster, her experience, her three-point shooting, she is the player that really has to bring her A game every night. And Katie Meyer sending a message. I was hoping to get her in the next couple of weeks to get back into the lineup just before the ACC tournament starts. Outside shots, and area vets really needed that one to go down. Hurricanes, who have lost a couple of straight to Virginia Tech and at Florida State, they split with the Seminoles during the regular season. And then underneath, it's Georgia Tech getting on the board. Ramosa had 10 points and six rebounds the first time these two teams played. And then good interior defense and and Bondu. A lot of movement on and, and changes to roles. So, um, you know, Katie Meyer is a great motivator, and she knows how to get her team to play their best. Oh, that's a nice look for Harden. Fresh unis today for the noon game, and coming out with a lot of energy. Good ball movement. Lotman, open look, and she buried it. Miami has three assists on their four field goals, trying to break out of a two-game losing streak. Roby in the game, working on Hermosa. Using that size on the interior, which is very important against what can be the big Georgia Tech lineup, but without Kubai in the game right now, and that's just too easy for Fletcher. Preseason foot injury that caused her to miss the first five games of the season. And working the boards to get the uh, put back. And guard the paint. I mean, that is the scouting report against Miami. And so I, I don't think it's at a point where you're saying you want to flush out the three-point shot quite yet. And very nice ball screen, pick and roll. Screen action here by Lodemai Lottman. Hermosa gets to the bucket. Fletcher just dribbled and found herself wide open on the free throw line. Momentum changer in my Mikea Gray. Mikea went out with a preseason knee injury. Point guard, always tough to lose your point guard. And when you're on the road, you really have to come out strong, you know, and, and I know that home court advantage isn't what it usually is without crowds. Nice take there by Houston. All the way across the court to Carter. And then some contact and count it and them letting some time go off the shot clock and finding buckets. And I think they're going to have to continually do that. I mean, that's a high level of difficulty on that shot by Mason. That's pretty bad. But she had a conversation with her as uh, Coach Meyer is the kind of person who's going to let you know exactly what she wants from you. Boy, Leah Love working, 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 and it pays off. They have missed 20 of their 28 shots. Banks right over Fletcher, who looks around like, I can't believe she did that and hit it. A few shots, but Georgia Tech is also still over from three. And Lota Mize missed five of her first six shots, which is very unusual. Fletcher able to drive on the baseline. And Tech comes back. Marshall with the answer. Mason with the... Shot that was off the mark and not a lot of orange jerseys underneath the rebound. And Bondu's going to come back in, and there's your first three for the Yellow Jackets. Well, and that's kind of the tough part about playing the zone is you are going to give up rebounding position, and Georgia Tech has been able to take advantage of that. Nice face-up. Shot now, winding down. Lawton in traffic. It Hermosa able to bail out what didn't look like a very steady offensive possession. Had Lurella Kubai on the court for six minutes and Lodemai Lotnin going one for seven from the field and they still have the lead. That's how talented this team is. Some concern about her availability today. She did start the game but picked up a couple of fouls. Lotnin now with the steal. And Bondu challenges at the last second, but Lottman was able to put it in. Nell Fordner have to be two of the most interesting coaches to talk to Yes, leading into a game. Just Nell's southern accent, Katie's vocabulary. 
beautiful offense there by the Yellow Jackets. And I believe it was the coaches that picked Georgia Tech to finish pretty high. It was the media, you know, those of us that don't know what we're talking about that uh, may have picked them closer to the middle of the pack from last season to this season. But boy, was she a prolific scorer. That was their leading scorer last year. Boy, that's a terrific look over to Hermosa. It's the mobility, the agility that we talked about. I mean, she's just an incredible player. There's really no one like her that I've seen in the country. Use the bounce to get around Hermosa. That was going to be a high level of difficulty. Oh, speaking of high level of difficulty, look what Kumai just did. Take away the vision. Oh, look at that. Leah Love with the last bucket for Tech. A couple of chances for Miami. And now Lottman to Kubai. Other way she's contributing. I think she's also got like three steals to go along with that. Yep, at least three steals. And a whistle away from the shot. Arjevitz got the free path and took advantage of it. McQueen, Hermosa. Shot clock at four for Lottman and no one. That was a, uh, that was Goni. And Bondu with a nice feed, yep. Kelsey Marshall came off the bench today. Here outside shot and it goes in for Mason. Lottman. A slow scoring day. And the steals. She's second in the yeah. ACC, so she does it on both ends. Motomai has three steals this afternoon. Coach got a few. Seth and Fonzo in the studio. So listen to Jay Billis and Dan on the call. Amy starting to get some momentum. Hit a shot, forced a turnover here. Let's see if the Canes can... Get another score. Oh, Mason, Boy. how about that? Against Lurella Kubai and Norea Hermosa. Oh, in the drive. It? Yeah, how about Mbondu coming over, though, to cut her off and then the three. Wow. What am I watching now with nine assists? A new career high for her. Arjevitz. 50-80% for double zero. Mosa left wide open. Kubai. Whoa! With a one hand turn around. Katie Myers' concerns looking over the last couple games is they just have stretches where they can't score. Can they continue to put the bucket in? Harden has an answer. That's coming up tomorrow on Wednesday. Everyone's excited about, oh, beautiful cut there. Nobody home for Georgia Tech as Area Vets gets an easy one. Oh boy, Harden. That's one you had to have. Goni, high dribble and finished. A minute left in Atlanta. Area Vets, what a game. A new season high for the Wyoming transfer. Three games left. They have Boston College and Wake Forest at home, then finish up at Clemson. If I had to to vote right now, for sure. And there's some there's some definitely stiff competition in the ACC, but no one has really turned it on this season.